The head of Australia's largest recent power generation development company said the CPRS was necessary, but likely to be headed in a dangerous direction. Trevor St Baker is the executive chairman of gas-fired generation developer ERM Power and has been in Australia's electricity industry for around 50 years. Prior to founding ERM, he was a government electricity planner. Mr St Baker has been closely involved in government consultation on the CPRS. The simple point is that, that if generation investors are disincentivised by a huge carbon tax, they're hardly going to, to invest in new generation with low carbon abatement. And if there's no investment in new generation, there are going to be blackouts. Mr St Baker's company has invested billions of dollars in gas-fired generation in Queensland, New South Wales and Western Australia. And he fears that a carbon tax will make it uneconomical to build the additional power stations the growth states need. The, the electricity industry peak bodies have been making representations to government over this whole process that, um, that they need investment certainty and they, and they can't suddenly have a carbon tax imposed on them um, when there is no potential for fuel switching, no, intent, no capacity for an immediate improvement in abatement, only a carbon tax. Electricity might be 40% of the problem, um, transport is about 25% of the problem, agriculture is about 25% of the problem, and uh, there's uh, other sectors that, that make up the rest. So it, there's been no particular um, consideration of what the, how the electricity sector can look after its sector, whereas overseas the electricity sector has been dealt with separately to, to all the rest of the, um, the, the, the sectors. And the, the electricity sector needs in investment certainty. It needs investment certainty and it needs, it needs for new low abatement, zero abatement investment to be incentivised. Mr St Baker said the best solution for Australia was a scheme that mirrored the EU's, where a carbon tax was imposed but excluded all existing generation. He said the opinion of the electricity sector was not a denial of the problem, but debate with the government over the best solution. The, the electricity industry in Australia and worldwide is, is aiming, it knows that there is a climate change challenge that has to be met. It knows that it's a very important part of the solution and it needs to interact with government to, for governments to understand how it can help solve the problem. A gas-fired power station can produce the same energy as coal-fired power and half the carbon pollution. Re re renewables are being targeted to produce 20 20, uh, to produce 20% of the power with zero emissions. The other 80% of the power either comes from coal or in Australia it, it, it has to come as much as possible from gas with a half or less of the carbon pollution. As the Premier of Western Australia has said and the, and the Queensland um, Government has also supported, these are, these are the growth states. They, they need 150 megawatts of new generation to be, to be in, invested in every year in Western Australia. Queensland needs at least three or 400 megawatts of new generation. Where is that going to come from if all the existing generators, in the, uh, generating companies, are being taxed billions of dollars? Australia has to move when, when the, with the rest of the world. The global problem will be solved when the whole of the world acts uh, in unison to reduce uh, emissions. Trevor St Baker is located in Brisbane today and is available there or over the phone for interviews. You can find his contact numbers by searching for his name on Expert Guide. In Brisbane for Expert Guide, this is Emily Clark.